fluid as well as potassium chloride. So we'll see. Sometimes a big one like this takes a lot of stuff to do it. But we'll see what happens. You want a smaller one? That's no. the madriporin right there, right? That's the madriporin, right, right? Not the eyeball. It's very obvious. On the yeah. And if you look at the tips, well, I don't see it. Sometimes at the tips of the arms, there's a little red spot that's a little eye spot at the end of the arm, but sometimes it's not as pigmented. This may take a minute to happen, and I may actually have to even annoy it. No, well, I think, yeah, this one is getting ready to go. That's insane. See, here it comes. Mm -hmm. See it? dun dun dun, -dun. How about that? And this, of course, is the, uh, uh, what do they call it, pyloric stomach, pyloric cica, forgot, in, uh, in the starfish. And that's the part of the digestive system that runs right down the arm. So again, to do that, it's lost, it's given up part of its digestive system. Um, but the rationale is it lives to, it lives to fight another day, right? And, and it's not and, giving up as much as the uh, sea cucumber either. Yeah, right. Exactly. The sea cucumber has given away serious organs to do that. And this right? guy's got four more sets of. Uh, exactly, and it may it may be ready to lose another one too. I got enough stuff in there. This one looks suspiciously like it's ready to go. Maybe not. Yeah, this one is. See. Now, you know, what self-respecting starfish is going to throw away all this is because I just overloaded its nervous system with, with potassium chloride. Right? Um, but this, this body softening factor, I mean, look at the way this thing bends, right? I mean, it, but at other times it's very rigid. And again, it's apparently caused by uh, neurohormonal stuff that's secreted by the uh, nerve endings in, in the starfish. And when it gets out of control, everything gets gets so uh, uh, so soft and, and pliable that things start falling off. Are those single arms?